Hello everyone, this is Dreyas, and today I am going to be jumping back into Afterlife Mod for 7 Days to Die. I'll be making a new game and starting over, and I'm going to try to do a series in this one and see, uh, see what I think about it, see how it progresses. So, we'll see you in the game. All right, here we go. So we've got some classes we can pick from. Let's see, the Normie gets a business suit, a decent wad of old world cash money, a classy wristwatch, very practical backpack, uh, starting skills of swimming and athletics. It gets a better deal, better deals at uh, vending machines, 25%. The Sheriff starts with uh, skills in pistols and clubbing. He starts with a uniform, service pistol, and a couple of mags and a baton. Interesting. 20% more likely to find 9 mil ammo where others can't. Can effortlessly open cop cars. Half vitality loss from fear and combat stress. Slower looting speed. Does it gain social vitality from the hoodlum? All right, crawler, fisticuffs. Let y'all look at this stuff real quick. I'm just gonna come go through it. Archery, butchering, bow, primitive arrows, hoodlum, shifts, and lock picks, knives, lock picking. The enigma is nada. I'm gonna go with the normie. Tempted for the sheriff, but I like the 25% uh, better deal at vending machines. Oh. Oh, wow, we're right in here, right out the gate. All right, looks like we got a book. I've got a watch with this class, which means I get to see what time it is. If I'd picked another class, I wouldn't. All right, after skimming the early pages of this conspicuous tome, simply titled Guidebook, it appears to contain instructions describing how to survive in the wilderness from scratch. That one would find such a book in your exact predicament is simply uncanny. All right, uh, set that, and evidently our backpack gives us a little more space. Uh, you have slots, and you also have encumbrance in this mod. Uh, they want us to craft the sling bag, so I need plant fibers. Oh, a little lag starting out there. A little darker and hazier in this one, I've noticed. feathers all right let's uh, get this crafted all right and then they want us to equip it all right, let's see I guess we just drag it drop it over here which drops our weight to 80 you turn the page in your guidebook and find schematics describing how to craft Neolithic Axe. It's first task you to acquire an appropriate chunk of stone to use as a tool head. You'll need something a bit more hefty than the stones laying about. Alright, well before we do that, let's uh, put our old backpack back on because our class started with a better one. So we need to gather two small, sharp, two small stones. Uh, oh yeah, you don't have a targeting reticle on this one. And we need to craft a sharp stone with those. Alright, which is this right here. So I guess we're just going to nap one against the other. And make us a sharp stone. And then we're going to use this probably on something like this maybe. Oh, no. You're not one closer than out here in the dim dark woods. 
I'm scared, Ma. I really am scared. Alright. Looks like I'm throwing it or something. Bang! Alright, I have evidently what I needed. Alright, so I need to gather sticks. Alright, let's assume sticks are going to come from what we typically get them from. Sharpen the large stone to assemble the stone axe. There's a chicken. Alright. Let's just see. Let's go ahead and get this crafted. Alright, craft stone axe. So now we need our sticks. Uh, I'm not seeing our little things that we normally get sticks out of. Well, if we use this on there here, I think it's just uh, gonna break it. Probably quicker than it normally would. Hey, what about this? Looks sticky. <laughs> uh, no guy that's helping here on this one. Honestly, I'm kind of perplexed. I don't want to use that. My fist. Like I'm not seeing the dead branches that we, like the dead shrubs that we normally see. Uh, the sticks. I don't see any sticks on the ground, just laying about. Looks like desert over there. Uh. Wow. I hope you're not one of those piggies that get pissed off right out the gate. Uh, what if we do this? Is that going to break my little sharp rock? Yeah. Alright, well I can make another sharp rock. Now let's just go out toward desert area a little bit. Oh, it's nice and bright up here, isn't it? No sign of no sticks up here. Wow, this looks totally different. What about these? There's some sticks. Were these down there and I just totally didn't see them? Oh, you can just hit E on that stuff? Yes. Alright, let's get back. Alright, we'll go craft our axe while we're working on getting back. Alright, you finish assembling your axe and open the field the guidebook once more. The next section describes how to set up a simple campsite. The first task is to use your newfound tool to fell a tree for wooden logs. Alright. All right, well let's get our newfound tool. Put it on the old hot bar. Let's get this stuff off the hot bar. And uh this tree here looks fine while we're by it. Oh, it's got a lot of hit points, but oh well. I have a feeling logs going to weigh a bit. Your skill in logging has grown to one. Looks like my stamina's going down. All right, to the right of the toolbar, you'll see we have my logging skill going up and my axe skill going up and some other skill going up. Uh, Strength or gathering, maybe? I think there's supposed to be an attribute attached to it that's probably going up as well. I'm going to say that's meant to be strength. 
All right, so we'll let the stump stay. Now if we look at our weight, we're up to 27 pounds. We got 16 wood logs. All right. Well, let's get back over here by this little building where we started at. All right, and they want us to place wooden logs. Okay, well, we got two of them, two wooden logs. We just put them on the hot bar and rotate it. All right, let's do that. All right, place campfire. I guess we need to craft one first. And a pile of uh, food. And a pile of stuff. Craft that. Food. Stuff. Campfire. And the bedroll. Need one more plant fiber. Or a lot more cotton. And a little plant fiber. I will just go with a plant fiber roll. Crafts everywhere. Alright, so let's craft up the bed roll. Does this still have an exclamation point on it? I don't know. Alright, so we need... Oh, that sits over here, huh? Alright, that's fine. We'll sit that here. And then we'll put our campfire right over here and did we craft our bed row? there's our bed row we'll put that right there now I need to gather a cooking pot and cloth fragments and uh, what about a what about a knife or some type of weapon all right, let's make a bone shield. What's this, javelin? What about a club? Wooden club, and it takes 20 wood. Oh, what do we got here? Extremely Simple Life Magazine. Uh, the magazine is curiously, curiously pristine and vibrant as the book from whence it came. It appears as though it was freshly printed mere months ago. After skimming the pages, you surmise that the contents detail instructions for the crafting of several primitive survival items from materials readily found in the wilderness. The magazine can't, contains instructions for a stone axe, stone pickaxe, stone shovel, wooden mallet, and a primitive bow. I think we kind of already knew that. Alright, where's the wood at? Wood, recipe, and how many? We get 10 for each crafting. Okay. Alright, so. Oh, well, we got go. Oh, we got food and drink down here. Oh, I ain't got any food and drink right now. If it's above zero, you aren't dead yet. That's a good thing. All right, let's put that there. I do have some water and a bandage. Uh, I guess we can leave the wood down here. Uh, club, 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 club. There's a club. Craft. Alright, this does 7 melee damage. The shield does more. Let's see what the club does. Weapon type, knife, knife. Uh, point 0.8. 12. Club, or blunt. All right, let's go in here and see if we can find a cooking pot.
All right, there's our first customer of the day. Uh, this is old Edgar. Uh, didn't want a power attack there for a second. My fortitude has grown. Clubbing has grown, okay. Back up. There's a magazine of some sort. What do we get? Getting hammered. Okay, this is the sledgehammer. I uh, don't want that. I'm going to scrap it because I believe you get what are they called? Literature fragments you can make use to make uh, other magazines, I think, later on down the road. Oh, can be picked up. Tier 2 decor. Okay. Oh, whoa. I don't know what I was looting there. I want it back. Whatever it was. Okay. Let's see. Sniper. If they can't run, they won't get away. Leg shots cripple all but the strongest enemies and have a chance to dismember. Okay, let's read that. Oh, we can uh, loot the little brown pallets. Looks like paper. Oh, it's a primitive bow. Let's grab that. I haven't made any arrows yet. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Anything in the coffee pots? Got some coffee grounds. Oh, tier three decor. Tier one. I wonder how much this stuff weighs. Weight zero. Okay, it's just going to take up inventory space. Oh, oh my bad. Clubbing has grown to two. Oh. Ass clubbing has grown to one. And face bashing has grown to one. All right. Contains 90 dirt, 9 dirty infected water. Alright, well. Collect that with empty jars, which right now I don't have any empty jars. I mean, I could drink. You gotta hold it down. Does that tell me where I'm at? Uh, I'm at 100. And 80 going up. I think it goes up to 200. I Man, I could have weighed it. I'm not how much? Sure, how much water this gives me? 20 water each. All right, that's locked. All right, now it's unlocked. Looks like that's got good water in it. Cloth. All right, let's uh, take water from barrel. All right, yeah, give us drinkable water. Okay, how much is in here? Uh, liquid container can be picked up. I guess there's none in there. It's not telling me if there's any in there, is, is it? Drink from water, fill barrel. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna say it's uh. Let's 
17 dirty. It's definitely different. I ain't found me a cooking pot yet. Oh, got some, uh, my new Kuhani. Uh, 3% zombie infection reduction. Can cure zombie infection? No. I think in this one, if you get infected, there is no cure. You just gotta keep it at bay. I'm not sure. You know, there ain't no pot lying around in here. Yep. I mean, what's this? Anything? Oh, oh wow. Take tarp. I damaged it. It's gone now. Oh. Okay, well, we got two tarps. There's a lot of stuff to remember here. Where's these tarps at? How much do they weigh? Oh, uh, not much. Porch fuel. I guess there's nothing in there. Sounds like a burnt guy. Yep, crispy critters. That contains water. Alright. Well, might as well. That's why we don't have any act, act, empty jars. Wow. English, do you speak it? Take the tarp off. Uh, oh, you can loot these, get some rocks. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that because these are going to be heavy, I think, now. So you kind of got to be careful about what you loot. Especially before you get a base set up somewhere. Cheaty McCheaterson! Right in the back of the noggin! How you like that? Oh, you had to call Big Mama out. You go, Big Mama. Let me poke you in the face! Oh shit, Big Mama! That's a nice move! Oh shit, I got stuck in the... Can I have that back? No. I need some stamina. Well, she is freaking... I need a place to dance with her. She's like making me fall back big time. I can spin move. Pardon my French. Let's try out for the NFL. Get down. That's crazy stuff. What'd you what were you doing up there? Paper. Ooh, some duct tape. Quack, quack. Might need that the way things is going to sew myself up. I've got a bone. I've got a bone to pick with you. Please tell me I'm gonna find a pot somewhere. Uh, not that kind of pot. Tier one decor. That's locked. Is this gonna unlock the hatch? Is there a bird up here? Oh, what's that up there? Oh, there's a ladder that goes up there. And there's a pot. I found the pot. All right, now I need to gather some resin and gather some charcoal powder. Got a single shotgun shell. That's what I'm talking about. 
Bring on the horde. Uh, let's read this medical journal. Unlock medical bandage. Nice. Uh, you know something I didn't do while well, we're up here? <laughs> let's uh, look at stuff. Alright, so... My strength is 4 out of 5. I guess this is 4. And this will go around to whatever. I don't know. I don't know how high it goes. Maybe it goes to 100. Plus 1 entity damage. Yeah, sledgehammer club. Uh, all item type. Axe, pickaxe, shovel, baton. Dismember chance. Entity damage. Block damage, ETD damage, uh, carry weight, and then you got fortitude. And this inside track probably is like, this is when you're going to get your next point. Uh, like finesse, I'm probably about to get my next point of finesse. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can see it here. And this one's almost full. So you got strength, you got fortitude, you got finesse. You guys can pause this up if you want to kind of read this stuff. You got agility, you got perception, and you got intellect. Uh, finesse is kind of like uh, the new one, right? New kid on the block, really. Uh, that's for sweet. And then we got skills, which uh, I think these are like learn by doing, if I'm not mistaken. So the more we run around and do athletic stuff, the more this would go up. And it seems to be uh, dictated by fortitude. So getting your athletic stuff is probably going to raise your fortitude and maybe your agility a little, and maybe vice versa. I'm not real sure. But yeah, very interesting. Perk books. Just uh, some of these may have changed up some. Look at that later. Uh, crafting. Uh, primitive, which I've learned. We got armor crafting, leatherworking, tailoring, vehicles. Let me tailor real quick. Practical shoes, military assault pack. Yeah, so some did a lot of different stuff. Trap making. Farming, medical, cooking, electronics, explosives, robotics, machine guns, there's new weapons, rifles, for all type of weapons, handguns, knives, clubs, spears, sledgehammers, knuckles, with fletchering, salvage tools, usual suspects there, construction tools, your hammers, and uh, harvesting tools. Looks like we got a uh, yeah, we got scrap tier stuff in there. And workstations, research desk, mortar pestle, rain catcher. Thank you, <laughs> dude collector. Training dummy, forge, ceramic crucible, bronze anvil, charcoal kiln, die tub, iron anvil. I wonder if the iron anvil goes into there or if they made it a workstation. Probably goes into there. Workbench, distillery, a kiln, advanced crucible, cement mixer, chemistry station, advanced bellows, and advanced furnace. And then we got perch, diggy diggy hole. <laughs> Uh, so this is where we spend points, I think. I have no points to spend, it looks like. Uh, combat, crafting, mobility, thunder thighs, uh, vitality, general, loot goblin. Oh, that's a chicken, not a goblin. I mean, a turkey but all right loot hoarder all right i'm not gonna look through all of them now because uh you know time's ticking are you shitting me did i lock 
I locked myself in here. Yes, that happened. All right, let's, uh... <laughs> Uh, uh, let's get back on my club. All right. Nothing special there. I don't see anything on the rooftops. Let's hop down here. Alright, so we got to gather resin. And if I recall from fiddling with it before... Was it the knife? Yeah, I'm getting resin with the knife. Getting a crap ton. Uh, charcoal powder is going to come from burning wood, maybe? Access. Alright, let's put our pot in here. Let's put fuel here. There's a lot of fuel. Can I take some of that out? Let's just put it all in there. And can we just turn it on? Turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. Right there, I think. Yep. Put the little fire. And no, oh, we got charcoal already. Alright, let's see. What can we do with this? Recipes. In a mortar pestle, so I got to craft a mortar pestle, which is going to take two large stones and one large sharp rock. Two large stones, which I should be able to get from this bad boy, if I am not mistaken. Get fatigued quick. All right, what did that give me? That give me. Did that just give me small stones? No. That give me that recipe. I need a large shop stone. All right, then I won't. Oh, there's the mortar pistol right there. Let's get that crafted. I need to drop some of this stuff off. Right, let's get this on our hot bar. Right here, access. And how much is this going to make? It's just one. Oh, it looks like it's going to make 14. Output. I got no output yet. Uh. Hello. Oh, looks like where's it at? It's over there on the right. All right, gather pitch. Okay, that's probably gonna may be made in here. Pitch. And we can make how much? 15. How much is 15 going to make though? 15. Is that going to make 15 or is it going to make 15 times more than I need? Alright. Food stuff. I don't think I have any food stuff, do I? What, how much damage does this do? 16.4? We'll use that. Evidently we can use a bone for a weapon. Yeah, do 9 damage. Right, let's go over here and see. Alright, let's get the large stone in here. Let's get these in here. The sack. What about arrows? 
What do I need to make arrows? Stone arrows. I need small sharp stone shafts, plant fibers, and feathers. And small sharp stones is going to take what I just put up, ain't it? Yeah. Let's get them back. Break all them up. What about shafts? What are these made from? Sticks. Let's make as many. Yeah, we'll make them all up. Might as well. All right. What is durability? Where's the max durability? 100. these little shields I'm trying to figure out I'm assuming green is pretty much brand new and then it's gonna get yellow and then orange and then maybe red right, there's eight pitch craft a torch right, the torch I'm going to need animal fat cloth fragments and wood Stick. Wood. Okay. What did I do with all my logs? I had logs. Oh, I put them all in here, didn't I? Yeah, give me that. Right. Craft one wood. And then for our torch. Wait for the wood to get done. Use pitch. Pitch your animal. Oh, I didn't even need the pitch. I had the animal fat, but let's use the pitch. See how we made it. Sapping them. Alright, well, they equip torch to your light slot. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? my light slot with the ignition of the torch the darkness abates and nightfall seems less dawning you open the guidebook again to where you left it its imbalanced weight confirms that the book has imparted all it can the remaining pages allude to the need to protect oneself from wildlife with no mention of the living dead luckily flesh rotting or not largely reacts the same to weaponry you discard the guidebook and consider your next move. All right. Well, uh, while I consider my next move, I guess I'm going to leave this episode right here. And when we come up, uh, come back from here, uh, we'll, we'll uh, figure out what to do. I do want to get a general idea of <laughs> where I want to go. I'm out in the middle of the boondocks, and I have no map to look at. <laughs> so... We're, uh, we're just stuck out here. I guess I can, uh, take this and kill this fire for now. But yeah, that's it for now. I appreciate everybody watching, and I look forward to jumping back into this, and I hope y'all are looking forward to it, too. We'll see you next time. Y'all take care. Bye for now.